I saw some video today. Akon was talking about the Nigerian artist. He was talking about Benna Boy, Whiskey, the video, Mr. Easy. And our wishes as a Ghanaian, my wishes as I was watching, mention those artists from Africa. I was thinking that you mentioned Ghana. But why, 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 why he didn't mention Ghana? Because we are not there. We are not. We are not out there yet. That's the reality. Some of our artists get the opportunity to be out there. God being so good, but they didn't capitalize on it because they are selfish gains, or they are scared to invest in their own talent to reach out there. That's why we're having this conversation every time that Ghanaians are not out there. Ghanaians cannot this. The Ghanaians are not doing this. Ghanaians are not doing that. Because we are complaining. And majority of our artists, too, when you talk to them, some of them will tell you that they don't want to sign on record label. And you want to compete with the artists that sign on record label. Like, word, structured word, record label in the world. Those Nigerians are, are, are signed on. If it's not 360 deal, they have a let's say maybe a partner, maybe 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 distribution deal, or maybe a plugins doing maybe they have agency out there that they pay those agencies to do work for them. Some of the interviews that we see the Nigerians are on it, majority of them they paid for them to be out on it. I know artists in Ghana, majority of the artists in Ghana, like I'm very close to him, have this opportunity to be on big, big platforms in the world. He was claiming that they need to pay him before he be on the he, he be on the those platforms. But these are the problems, and we are, we keep complaining that we don't have the support. People don't support us. The industry doesn't support us. True, some of the industry players too, they have a problem. But I think it's high time for we to stop doing those comparisons. We are trying to compare ourselves with the Nigerians. There's no way those things can work. Trust me. We we pass that level currently. We don't need to like waste time and our saliva to keep talking about. The Nigerians or the Ghanaians, bro, sister, it's time for we to maybe invest in ourselves. Some of us, let's say maybe at least we start the work trying to help some of the artists to reach out there. Some of us didn't like maybe we take it as a charity work. <laughs> but trust me, to move out there, some of them... They are well structured. They are business people. When you come and see them, they need to do business with you. Either you pay them for them to do the work for you, or you do partner with them. They make sure that the work is done. Later, they take their percentage. If you are willing to do it, five, you are not willing to do it. Fuck off. So that's how the thing is. Currently, I think when you check some of our artists that are on, they are on their label, they are they are on label currently. When you check like somebody like Black Sheriff, somebody like Jackie. Somebody like uh, Kiddy, and who again? Like majority of them, somebody like Kim Promise, he has a distribution deal with, with Sony, I think. Apart from that, when you check, like somebody like Stoneboy, watch out for Stoneboy. I know some of the conversation that maybe is going background, some of some of one or two that I know about him. Let's give him two years, maximum two years. A lot of people will get to know that you're know, the guy has has really done well for himself because. That's how the thing is. When you are moving with the right people, when you are when you are creating connect connect for yourself, definitely you'll be out there. But when you feel like you are an island, you want to do it on your own. You don't want to listen to people, or you don't want to listen to anybody around you. These are the problem that is going to happen to you. I'm not happy. Trust me, I'm not happy the way things are going with Chatawali. That's the reality because, bro, I don't hate that guy for one bit. The reality is, some of us cannot keep mute when we are around you. When you are going wrong, we'll tell you. Unless you don't want to listen to it. But that's the reality. Because we are part of the people that build the brand from day one. So who am I to come and sit and maybe tarnish the brand's image? No, I can't do that. But when it comes to reality, for me to speak about reality, I'll do that. And majority of the people around him, or, or, or maybe being around him, some of them do have conversation at the back. There are a lot of things that is not going well with him. They, they are scared to talk to him, and that's the problem. So the man feels like nobody can talk to him when you alone are talking to him. He feels like, why are you alone? And so th these are the problems. If people tell you that Shatawali doesn't have a brains or maybe backbones that they can work for him, it's a lie. Because trust me, Shatawali has a brain, brain, 
bigger brain like somebody like Chris Connie, somebody like Bulldog. And I know a lot of people at the background that I don't want to mention their names. And when it comes to some of us too, at least we can chip in certain things. Maybe you feel like maybe your party doesn't know nothing. Deputy doesn't. But some of us, at least our brains, God created the brains very well for us. So we use the brain. When we are close to you, we'll tell you the reality. So these are the things. So currently, I think we should stop comparing ourselves with the Nigerians. Even when we have the mileage in Ghana, we, we maybe the DJs to stop playing any foreign music, to play only Ghana music, clubs, pubs, DJs, wherever, wherever, radio DJs to play it. We'll get the mileage in Ghana. But when you, to reach out there, we need to structure ourselves very well, to invest in ourselves. You don't want to sign on a label, or you don't want to partner with the label, or you don't want to pay an agency to do the work for you. But you want to you want to have the miracle to be out there. Some of you guys have the miracle. There's no two ways about that. Shatawali has the biggest collab with Beyonce. And trust me, that song on that album is the biggest song on that album. Check somebody like Ben Boy. He's, he's the only artist that has a single on the on the album. Through that album, I can tell you for a fact, through that album, Ben Boy gets his momentum. To move out there. There's no two ways about that. Ben Aboy came, he came past through Ghana, get one or two to capitalize on it, to move out there. Through that, maybe he get a feature with Ben Aboy, uh, whoever, whoever, maybe Beyonce. He capitalized on it. Now he's the biggest artist in Africa. There's no two ways about that. He's killing it. That's the reality. Watch, watch Whiskey. Whiskey is doing massively well before he feature on, on, on Beyonce's work. Trust me, with that, with, with that one, capitalize on it, doing wonders out there. So these are the things we need to like maybe do the right thing, make sure that we are doing the best that we can do for we to reach out there. But we should not fold our arms thinking that God will do some miracle. Some of the miracles will happen to you, but if you don't capitalize on it to make sure that you are out there, it's that easy. And currently, the music business, if you are not willing to invest to do the proper works, my guy, forget it. You do it and do it. You 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 stuck at one place that you can't move. So I think that's a piece of advice for 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 majority of our artists, the younger ones that they are coming. We have a bunch of talent down here. We have a bunch of talent down here. Some of us needs to like maybe do certain things to to to, to move out there. I think that's my piece of advice. So we should stop comparing ourselves with the Nigerians or with the uh, maybe with the with the rest of the African dance that those people that they are moving. When you check, like somebody like Diamond Platinum, we don't hear him down here in West Africa. Like in Ghana, they're speaking in uh, the country that speak English in West Africa. Like when you ask of Diamond Platinum, a lot of people don't know him. But he's one of the biggest artists in Africa. He's doing wonders. You think that maybe he fold his arms and he's sitting? No, he's breaking boundaries. He's doing the right connect to move out there, and he's paying agency for them to do the work for him. So that's why it's out there. So bless, I think this is my piece of advice. It can't just make me feel like I need to say this. And it's that time we need to capitalize on it and do the right thing. We should stop complaining. We should, not com we should stop complaining. Work time.